as you can notice, I haven't, I had not yet posted my book read for September, October, and that's what I'm doing right now. Um, for September, I read a great book, The Power of Broke by Damon John. Damon John is the CEO and founder, part of the partners of um, For Us, By Us, FUBU, the brand um, label. My brother suggested this book because for the longest time I've been wanting to get into um, entrepreneurship. And I really enjoyed his book because he just keeps it really, keeps it 100, like they say. <laughs> he keeps it real. Um there's a lot of things that reminded me of a mentality I kind of had already, which was when I didn't want to spend money. This comes with my writing. <clears throat> when I didn't want to spend money, what I did was decide to write. I would get my laptop and go and just write either at a Starbucks or at home. And even if I was in Starbucks, I wasn't buying any high dollar uh, beverage, but, you know, use their facility or to you to write and just clear my mind in public and think or the library. But it, it's a powerful read because we sometimes take our circumstances and situations for granted. For instance, sometimes people say, oh, I wish I had enough money um, so I could start this business. I wish I had enough money to do this and the other. But really what I realized in those moments where I was conserving my money and it was in life, I've been there where like, it's like I only got enough money for bills and this and the other. And so at that point in time, I found joy and my passion is writing. So I found joy and passion in writing. I didn't have to go and do anything expensive. The library is free. I could sit in Starbucks if I wanted to. I could sit at home if I wanted to. My initial investment was the laptop, but I'd had the laptop for a while. So here are some things that I really encourage those people that are looking into entrepreneurship and you feel like you are not privileged or in a position where, um, and when I say privilege, you, I'm specifically talking about where you feel like, well, my best friend or my friend comes from money. So their parents, you know, gave them the business or helped them out financially or whatever the case is. If you're somebody that's interested in entrepreneurship and you are a nine to fiver and you're barely making it paycheck to paycheck, then I highly suggest you invest a little money on the power of broke. I actually ordered this book on, um, Amazon. I got a really good deal for it. So it was a blessing. And I, I mean, he's, it's powerful. It's very motivating and very encouraging. Pretty much you can do and be and become whatever you want to be and become does not mean no matter the financial constraints. And, um, in October I was blessed by a coworker who gave me Joel Osteen, you can, you will eight undeniable qualities of a winner. And it's amazing how these books kind of just staggered each other. Cause that's the type of motivation I need to get the ball rolling on um the second business that my husband and i are venturing into and so this was a powerful book it's a easy it's an easy read it's cute it's small it's about what 160 169 pages of that um it's the motivation the everyday motivation you need once again i've always liked joel osteen once again, he gives you the realest, the rawest, just the needy greedy of life. Um, there's so many places I was folding and highlighting and I was getting so excited about because he talks about life as life is and how you can um, better yourself. So I highly recommend Joel Osteen's book as well. You can, you will. It it instilled in me um, a power of motivation, a power of inspiration. It's like, yes, it's, 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 um, it's the jump start you need sometimes. You know, when you're going through life in a year and you start to kind of mo get demotivated and then you come across a book like You Can, You Will, it kind of like really ignites a fire in your heart and in your soul. Um, I'm so glad that I'm able to do these two book reads for the month of November. I've been super focused on NaNoWriMo National Novel Writing Month. Uh, in 2014, I was one of the finalists. So I, here I am trying to be, oh, trying to perfect my writing so I could, um, actually win in a category. 
and I love you guys that much and I thank you for tuning in to these book reviews for December I'm still debating if I'm gonna do something because I just launched um, our second business this Black Friday and between NaNoWriMo and I enjoy writing in the winter I'm also outlining some novel materials to write there as well so uh, i'll see if i post something for december maybe a quick short read or some short stories or something i'm not going to promise that but because right now november and december are crunch time for me and also the fact that january i'll be starting continuing uh continual education there and i want to focus on my writing as well don't yeah i know don't ask me how i'm going to do it all i'm just like lord take the will I love you guys. Be blessed.